Huh? These are going to be two different problems. Now, what we have done, what we did today was we talked about complex numbers. We also talked about add, subtract, multiply, divide, right? And simplify. That's basically all you guys did, right? Well, now we have an equation. So we're going to be solving. So the main important thing is when solving an equation, we need to get rid of the square root. So to get rid of the square root, we are going to square both sides. And when we square both sides, the squaring and the square root undo each other. So I'm just left with x plus 4 equals 3x. Now this isn't so bad. You guys can hopefully remember how to solve from here. You should solve for x. So you isolate the x. So I get the x's on the same side. Wait, but if you're multiplying 3 times x, you can't really like. No, no, you're mul you're. No, but right there is 3x. It's not like 3 plus x. You see what I'm saying? I'm saying is the square root and the square undo no, each other. Think about three apples minus one apple is how many apples? No, There's two apples. By squaring it, what did you make the I thought when you were multiplying, like, you're supposed to divide instead of. Right, but right now we don't have the x's on the same. You're right. You, you could divide, but I'm saying you've got to get the x's together. Right now you have x's on both sides. What, this one? This is a positive x. So to undo the positive x, you have to subtract. Huh? That one's being added. Right, so to undo adding, you have to subtract. I know, but how are you going to subtract something that's being multiplied on the other side? It's, remember, this is being multiplied by negative 1. So you have 3x minus 1x, which equals 2x. OK? Um, then you can go ahead and solve. So you have 2 equals x. The last thing I want to go over there, Jennifer, is you take your answer and plug it back in. Um, did I do the math right? Yeah, so you plug this in, Jennifer. You plug your answer, Jennifer, Jennifer. You plug your answer back in. <laughs> 2 plus 4 is 6. The square root of 6 is square root of 6. 3 times 2 is 6. Square root of 6. Done. Do the answer works. Correct. You're going to need to check your answer because...